what's up guys, an unstoppable cycle deck just spammed its way to the top of the game. The ranks 1, 2, 14, and 19 in the world are all using this deck. The strategy is simple yet absurdly effective. When you have a champion like Mighty Miter on the field, you can't play another one. So that allows you to manipulate your card cycle to cycle three cards to get back to another card instead of the standard four. Meaning you're only spending four elixir with the Bomber, Ice Spirit, and Skeletons to get back to another Goblin Drill. There is no deck in the game that can keep up with that quick of a card cycle. Even if your opponent has a Dark Prince or a Bowler, they're going to get blasted by another drill before they're back to their counters. And because you're cycling Bombers so fast, you're blasting back to the evolution. When you drop drills in front of the tower, opponents are forced to counter it. And any units they use on defense will get munched on by the Evolved Bomber. While it sadistically enjoys splashing onto the tower too. If you have one evolution, use the Evolved Bomber. It's time to unleash a dizzying dance of cycle spam to assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. Bulky Bomber love to everyone that's supporting the channel with Critic Code Sirtag. Yo, we're playing against a top 263 player in the world. So we are bound to be playing against someone pretty good to test our skill. We're running the Dagger Duchess, which is phenomenal in single elixir. It is so good at shattering anything that is less than five elixir spammed at you. So obviously, if you are going to be going for goblin drills and keeping up very fast aggression, your opponent might not have more than five elixir to apply counter pressure. And if they don't, they're just going to get daggered down by the Duchess. So as you can see, watch the Valkyrie get melted. It's very cool to be able to get those types of positive elixir trades and not have to spend that much on defense. Also, I was optimistic that the Vault Bomber would go in the right-hand side. It didn't necessarily work out. It's still fine. It's not even going to go and hit the Ice Golem. Yo! <laughs> that wasn't very chill for him. He's not having a good time. It seems like he's frozen in solidarity after that one. Anyway, we can go in for a drill, possibly, to go and pull that directly towards our tower. He's going to go in for a minor, and we do not want to take that much damage. Notice how we're utilizing the second Dagger Duchess and activating King Tower there. That is why you, you want to play this deck if you want to improve your skill. Because you can pull off miraculous plays like that. And even against top 200 players in the world, you'll be able to outplay them. He wasn't ready. He netted one of the worst trades in the entire game. And we were able to activate King Tower and disintegrate his Elixir push. The entire of his Elixir bank, honestly. Right? His win condition was thwarted and he gave us a positive trade. So we take those all day. I'm going to go in for another drill here and then I'm going to spam him with another Evolved Bomber. And I'm sure you guys have noticed the theme of this. Even if you're not necessarily getting damage with the drill, you're going to have the thrill of spamming the Evo Bomber. <laughs> and then of course we're going to log it to add insult to injury to get even more damage. And even if he wants to spam into me, he'll probably go in for a Minor Prediction, which is exactly what happened. And then we go in for a Tesla. We pull back the Balloon. And then we Ice Spirit. So I'm sure y'all are noticing the fact that we do not get our Tesla predicted. And even if we're playing against good players, he's not even allowed to get Balloon Death Damage there. The Miner was just too obvious because if you've played this deck from your opponent's side, right? And you know what they are supposed to do, you're not going to let them do that. Anyway, we're going to get back to an Evolved Tesla. And this is going to be funny because if he goes in for the Miner, we're just going to let it happen this time because we've got the Evo. <laughs> and we're ready to be evil. Yo, he's going to go for the Valkyrie and he's about to get finessed by the Evil Bomber. Oh my gosh, this is so nasty. This is so gnarly. This is so despicable. So he's like, despicable me? No, despicable you. That is what he is thinking. We're going to go for another drill and we're expecting him to go in for a minor. Let's go for Skeleton's Prediction. No, he didn't fall for our trap card this time. Tragic. Anyway, we do have King Tower activated, so we don't have to spend any extra elixir. We can go in for the Mighty Miner because he'll probably go in for more spam, and we can just cycle back. The best thing about this deck is it will never get outcycled. It's actually theoretically impossible to outpace a three-card cycle with Skeletons and Ice Spirit. You're just not going to move faster than this, my guy. And you might not even keep track of the Evil Bomber. He might not know that we have this in cycle, and when he doesn't, it's his doom. GG, my guy. You are a top 200 player, and that wasn't even close to a challenge. You got destroyed, and maybe you did 500 damage to my tower. I think he got, like, minor chip damage, and that was it. Looking at this guy's ranks, he's insanely good at the game. But this cycle deck is so utterly unfair that he never had a chance. Yo, we got another one here. So, y'all already know, we're going to be going in for our drill. That is the best play at the start of the game, and we're going to Ice Spirit. I actually mistaked and decided to uh, kind of keep the same tower. So, if you guys don't know, yes, this deck is a lot, a lot better with the Dagger Duchess. 
But if you don't have the Dagger Duchess, you can still use the Princess Tower. You can still use the Cannoneer. It doesn't necessarily matter that much. Also, wait, is he going to lose the Dark Goblin? Yeah, he does. Let's go. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to go in for an Ice Spirit here because it's going to be able to freeze all the Skeletons. And then I think we can go for a Tesla afterward, and that should be the best play possible. Because I can log on all the Skeletons from the King, and then he's not going to get more than one swing, right? Yeah, just one swing up in here. Oh, he struck out. That's pretty good. Genuinely, I expected him to be running the cannon card. So I'm surprised that he didn't spam that at the river too, or minion horde. Typically, when you see mortar with Skeleton King, it's going to be an influx of bait cards every second. And the best thing to do against these type of decks is just make sure that when your opponent spams into you, you don't give them the opportunity of getting the mortar on the tower. That's the scariest thing. When their mortar is lined up like this, you go for the evil bomber and you do more damage than their four elixir card can. Like literally their four elixir card helped me. And that's not how it should be. Also, we've got the evil bomber and then we've got the mighty miner. So there's just bombs everywhere. Oh, the prediction. <laughs> he wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. And now he's very dead. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage we got on the right. The amount of outplays that you can make with this deck should be illegal. You should not be allowed to go in for mighty miners like that. Oh my gosh. He's going to spam more. All right, let's poison. I was hoping he would go minion horde as well. Unfortunately, that did not happen. But the Dark Goblin should walk into it, so that's fine. As long as the Dark Goblin dies, we're in a pretty good spot. Because then we can go for a bomber on top of the rest of the mortar and make sure that he doesn't get as much damage as he's hoping for. Even if he goes in for bats, that's all we need to kill is kill the bats. And then we can go for a log on the skeletons. So pre-log in that a little bit quicker. Just guaranteeing I don't miss it. <laughs> I've been known to miss things like that, and we don't want to do that again. All right, let's go for the skill drill, and then when he drops anything to defend, we just evil bomber on his butt. Where are their defenses, sir? Oh my gosh, it's Expo. Guys, we have the Expo Fortification. We've got the Mighty Miner, basically the Knight. We've got the Tesla, and then we got the Expo, aka the evil bomber. Oh my gosh. Look at the damage I just did. How is this fair? Clash Royale, legitimately. How did you allow a deck like this to exist and get buffed by the tower? Literally, no one stands a chance against this. These games are way too easy. This deck is way too broken and it needs an emergency nerf. I don't think I've said that in a video in a while, ever since like Monk and then the Phoenix. And this is the first time that I really felt like the deck is out of control. It's time to drag out the Duchess and put in the Princess. The Dagger Duchess is simply the best, but all towers work in the deck. And now we are finally showing the form of the deck without the Dagger Duchess. I'm going to go for a drill. That strategy still reigns true as the best strat. And the guy is going to go in for minions. So I believe he probably have a Lava Hound deck. Most people that are running minions are either running a Goblin Giant deck or they're going to be playing a aggressive Lava Hound strategy. Lava Hound has gotten a lot better in the meta, and it's actually significantly stronger with the Dagger Duchess, just because it allows you to safely build up big pushes in single elixir while relying on the Dagger Duchess for defense while your opponent doesn't have enough elixir to go and spam and overwhelm it. Also, this guy does have Goblin Giant, and he's going to have Electro Wizard, but he misses the Mighty Miner. Okay, the strats, the strats. Mighty Miner, please? Okay, they didn't really get to finesse the entire tower there this time, but... It's still okay. Also, perfect timing on the log, if you guys noticed that. Melting the Spear Goblins and also nullifying the Electro Wizard from zapping our tower to oblivion. So at this point in the game, it's important for me to identify, hey, the guy's gonna go minions. I don't wanna go for an Evo Bomber into minions. The dumb strategy. So we'll just go in for our drill. We'll bait out some Elixir and we'll be perfectly content with the situation. Another thing that I could do is our Bomber hits his tower twice here. That's worth it. Even though we sacrificed the bomber, look at the damage I get. How is that fair for two elixir? Sometimes y'all are like opposed to doing that. You're averse to sacrificing the evil bomber, but you have to think, even if I sacrifice this two elixir card, look at the damage that I get. People want to be immortal and never die. So they go in with a goblin drill and then they go evil bomber. I knew it was gonna die. I knew it would die to his bomber in fact but it didn't matter because the trade that we would get would be well worth it. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice cards that you don't wanna sacrifice is the moral of the story. We're gonna Ice Spirit on top of the Sparky, then we're gonna go for another Goblin Drill, and we should be solid on defense here. I don't know if the Bomber even gets hit, and it doesn't, 
the one HP hero, just grooving and shattering Sparky's chances of winning there. Obviously, having the reset with the evolved Tesla is not something that this guy's gonna be prepared for. Oh, you think you can Evo Bomber in the back? That's cute. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. How about you take some of that? So then we can go for another drill. The best thing about this is the fact that the Sparky's gonna break the drill so that when the goblins lock out of the tower. It's just so dumb. It's so broken that it broke. And now he's gonna choke. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's not feeling very good, bloke. Oh, uh, do Australians say that or British people say that? You guys let me know. Does anyone unironically actually say bloke? I feel like they don't. There's no way. Anyway, all we have to do is defend and we should be able to have that happen. The Sparky looks scary, but it was just a shadow. It was something that was gonna dissipate as soon as the sunlight arose. So GG and well played. There really wasn't anything it could do. Even though we didn't even have like a small reset, like a zap, it wasn't even needed. And the guy even had splash damage like the Evolved Bomber to counter our drill, and it still wasn't enough. Beating this overpowered cycle deck is ridiculously tough. Hey, the Dark Phoenix! This guy is a rank 561 in the world player. So if you are a top 500-ish player, you already know he has played against some of the best players in the world. So he probably knows what to do. He's likely not gonna fall for some shenanigans. I just have to play straight up better than him to beat him. And as you can see, he goes in for a perfect log timing, doesn't take that much damage on his tower, and he's winning right now because, you know, he's got the Dagger Duchess, so he's got more tower HP. And that Hog Rider is bound to get a hit on my tower, right? Yep. Not good, not good. Very good player in a great position. We're gonna try to activate King Tower against this Firecracker. I think I missed it. Yeah, rough. Wait, we got again, 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 please. Oh, no. I need some Fs in the comment section for the double misses, and that is not good. This is not the start that we wanted, but maybe we can revive our chances of winning against the Dark Phoenix. Hopefully, he gets descended into the darkness with no chance of recovery. You know how Phoenixes are supposed to resurrect? We're stealing that. We're the shadow Pokemon that he can't even capture. Also, he wasn't able to capture an earthquake on top of the Tesla and the tower, so that was good. I mean, we'll take that type of trade all day. Maybe I can go Mighty Miner in the back and dig our way back out of, uh, you know, a 1,200 health deficit. It's not that big of a deal, right? Maybe, hopefully. We'll go Ice Spirit here. It's just going to die. We'll go for our drill directly in front of the tower while the Mighty Miner is going to be tanking. And then I think there is a chance where we can do the dance and poison on skeletons. I really hope he's going to... Ah, oh, he didn't do it. See, he's too good. He's actually pretty smart. He's a good player. I bet you goes in for a hog rider with this. I'd be pretty floored if he didn't. We'll go skeletons just to go and pull that back. We're always hovering our Tesla. Preemptively preparing our position. Oh, baby. You guys saw that? The skeletons are dead. Or maybe not. Oh, wow. Never mind. They weren't dead until they were. I guess I predicted it. I'm just so incredibly cerebral that I, I knew that was going to work, right? Definitely not... Low skill and lucky. Definitely never low skill and lucky. Okay. We're going to try to go for a Tesla, and then we're going to start tickling his Hog Rider. And maybe activating King Tower. Maybe activating King Tower. Yeah, we did it! Guys, you should tell me how proud you are of me in the chat, please. In the comment section, just show me the love. Show me the love. Tell me I'm smart. Give me all the compliments, even though you know I'm stupid. Please, guys, I need to feel better about myself for how bad that was. <laughs> Give me the pity comments, please. <laughs> all right, uh, can we go for a Tesla here? Hey, that worked. That was really good. So I love how the evolved Tesla is able to do a little bit of splash damage on units so then he doesn't get the firecracker hit that he typically would get. I'm going to go for another Mighty Miner, and I'm going to go and spam drills in this guy's face. Yeah, it's a little bit stupid to do this, but it works out if you uh, play it at the right time. It should be able to counter the skeletons. Yeah, just like that. That's what we needed. And then we can log on the evolved skeletons here so they don't multiply like crazy. And then we can maybe force him to click the Mighty Miter ability. Yep, he wasted it. That's good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We get him to log. Now he doesn't have that for the drill. And then we can go in for probably a poison. And then just be toxic like that. Because we're able to kill the Tesla, then we're cycling faster back to our drill. And then he doesn't have a defense. Honestly, I'm going to go for Bomber at the river right now. And then if he firecrackers, it doesn't matter that much to me. 
we are going to make him miss that earthquake every single time. And then we're going to log an ice spear, and then he loses the firecracker with no damage. <laughs> As you can see, this deck is the epitome of toxicity. And then we're going to poison to uh, add a little bit more fuel and toxic mix into the mix. Oh, can we use the Tesla? Wait, I think we can. I'm literally going to sacrifice him a Mighty Miner so we can pop the Tesla and win the game. He might think I'm stupid, or maybe he thinks I'm smart. I don't know. This has to work. One hit. Oh, it got a hit. It almost got a second one, too. That would have been some serious trouble for our dude. Does he know that we've got another Tesla? Does he know what is about to happen? Oh, he's going in. <laughs> Screw the double hog riders, man. We got double buildings. <laughs> we got triple buildings. You can't break through. Let's go. Yo, I'm so, I'm so happy with this deck. I genuinely love it. We're getting after it with this deck. Unfortunately, the, the firecracker might hit. Oh, so close. No one hit. What's happening? I'm so confused. All right. Uh, Tesla, please. Do things. Poison. Log. Ice Spirit. Skeletons. Evolve Bomber. Poison again. This has to do enough. I think we got it. Pull it back. Log. I think we did enough. Maybe if the Ice Spirit just comes down. Yes! Let's go! <laughs> that was one of the most slimy games that I've won in Clash Royale, and I'm so happy we stole that from the Dark Phoenix. We resurrected, we bounced back, and that was a position that I didn't even know if I was going to win. And running away with that match was a quality snatch. Hey, what's up, CM Sight? We saw a ton of spells in this guy's banner, which would make for an incredibly unorthodox deck. I don't think that we can put him in a box just yet and say what he's going to be playing because the guy is now going in for a giant skeleton with a mega minion and I have no idea what the heck this could be. So I'm going to go in for a mighty miner and then I'm going to go ice spirit. Oh my gosh, chill. Stop it. Don't hurt my mighty miner. Protect at all costs. I am spending all of my elixir here and I might lose. I don't know if I'm able to defend this. Please stop it. No. Oh, it didn't get a hit. What the heck? Cleanest defense of my life. Completely calculated, obviously. Oh, oh, I totally, totally expected to take no damage there, guys. You know, the funny thing is if you're just watching someone in game, you never get to see their real reaction. You don't know if they're like freaking out while they're defending. If they're like sweaty, try hard like me, like, oh, if we drop it here and then drop another card here, we might be fine. You might just be like, oh, wow, Sir Tag is so good. And then you're like, uh, he's kind of crazy whenever he plays on defense. And he doesn't really know if he's going to win or not. <laughs> when you actually see the gameplay and the videos, you're like, yeah, he's a wild child. Anyway, we're going to go in for a log ice spirit. And ideally, we're going to be able to splash onto the Sparky. Uh, that wasn't timed perfectly. I was idealistically hoping to keep the Mega Minion off of our ice spirit, but it's looking really bad. I got lost. I mean, I said that last time, but I really do think I lost my tower. There's no way. The Evo Bats messed with my mental, and I didn't really know what I was playing against, so I think that that's my excuse right now. <laughs> Sometimes you play against decks, you're like, how do you even come up with this, my guy? Anyway, we still got a minute left over, so there's a lot of time left on the clock, so you never know. A few minutes later. I'm going to go for an Evo Bomber here, it's paired with a drill. We're bound to bounce back, baby. We're bound to bounce back. I fully believe. All right, the Bomber did not do as much damage as we needed. That's rough. We can log to kill the Electro Wizard. Ice Spirit Skeletons again. I'm gonna go in for Mighty Miner so we can pull that there. Then we can drill. Then we can pop the ability. Go in for Skeletons on top of the Sparky. Go in for that. Ice Spirit afterward. I wonder if the drill does enough. Nah, it's not doing enough. All right, well, we don't have enough time on the clock anymore, do we? Like, no shot. This is really bad. All right, we're gonna pre-poison and pray. Pre-poison and pray is the only way. Wait. Full Bomber. You got it. You got it. Yes! Let's freaking go! We're in it to win it, baby! Nine seconds left. This has to be a comeback. It, it's, it's bound to be. There's no way. There's no way I lose here. We have pot armor, right? Please? Maybe? I genuinely don't think so. I think I lost, but who knows? We're still trying. I'm going to go in for the bomber in the back, and then I'm going to go in for a drill here. Maybe we can go in for mighty miner. Oh, why do you have that? Okay. Very fun. All right, well, we're going to pop through with the Tesla. We'll start tickling him. And that's good. Question mark? Maybe? No, I think that's really good. Okay, we're going to go in for the drill. We're going in for the thrill. We have the skill. All right, Evo Bomber time. We're going to poison as well. 
This has to do something. This actually has to do something. Please. Not like that. Not like that, man. Poison log does kill, but I kind of need to save the log on defense. I'm pretty sure. He's likely going to mini P.E.K.K.A. if I go Tesla. Let's try to bait out the mini P.E.K.K.A. Mini P.E.K.K.A. me. Do it. Just do it. All right. He didn't do it. He didn't listen to me. He's not really good at following the instructions, apparently. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Calm down with the giant skeleton spam, my brother, man. Don't do that to me up in here. All right, Sparky. Go Mighty Miner because it will tank for the goblins from this goblin drill. So we can maybe get a lot of damage that way. Sparky's not shooting the goblins for a while. Wait, we're back in it like we never even left. Bros, we are back in it. All right. Poison. Do it again. Do it again. Cycle another poison in his face. Bomber's going to splash on the tower. Yo, we're winning the game right now. Oh my gosh, please. This can't work. There's no way. There's no way. If we just like pull his units back and pray, is there a way? There might be a way to win this game. I'm just cycling my stuff at this point. I'm literally just cycling my cards. Believe in the heart of the card, Yugi boy. Yes. There's no way. We saw victory against Sight when there was no way to win in Sight. We went in with our might and we pulled out the fight. I'm dumbfounded about how dumb it is that this deck is overpowered to this level. Wins like that should never be possible. Fine. I'll do it myself. Drill the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe for more daily content and have an amazing rest of your day.